My name is Julie Curtis. I'm a visual artist. This is my show, Bitter Apples, my first solo exhibition at White Cube in Hong Kong. The show features sculptures, paintings, works on paper, and my first film. The inspiration behind the title of the exhibition, Bitter Apples, came to mind when I was exploring classical, biblical themes, such as Adam and Eve, the fall of paradise. I often like to combine opposites in my work, and I thought about the fruit and its taboo nature, the forbidden fruit, and then I wanted to combine the idea of the apple, the sweetness, with the bitterness that comes with the expulsion of the paradise. So I recently uh, moved to Florida from New York, and I guess what really um, stood out for me um, in the change of my environment was suddenly this wilderness and uh, this greenery, tropical greenery. What I really found interesting in Florida is that you have the domesticity of the suburban American landscape mixed with the a true, like, harsh environment, jungle style. So I really like the combination of the two, which is really jarring. The impression I really wanted to give with Tropical Dawn is this feeling of familiarity, comfort, you know, interior, domestic interior, but also the, the feeling of openness of the outdoor and, you know, unexpected events like in the jungle. So some slightly disquieting kind of environment. Uh, so mixing the in interior and exterior. So I wanted to create an image that would be full of details, really kind of um, um, exciting where it feels like you can discover a little creature in a corner or another, and then the furniture becomes kind of alive, you know, comes to life. And, but the animals are kind of hiding in corners. When I painted Tropical Dawn, I really wanted to create a, a f the feeling of being into a jungle and have a variety of things happening all at once. So really a, a playfulness. And, and those, um, I wanted this kind of feeling of in between night and day, where we don't know which time of the day it is really. And you have those casting shadows. So something slightly ominous, but at the same time, a very soothing kind of environment as well. So a lot of different feelings. Yeah. For the Adam and Eve painting, I was looking at uh, an altar pieces in Ghent from Van Eyck, and I was looking particular at his depiction of Adam and Eve and how, you know, it's very manurist. You have a pretty raw description of their bodies, you know, and the banality of their bodies, but also this very crude details of their anatomy. And I was really taken by it. So I kind of wanted to take some of that and bring it into my world where you can see Adam and Eve into a very banal scene. It seems like almost in a hotel room that's in Florida with, you have the very retro kind of mid-century style of the tiles mixed with a neoclassical architecture that's um, a reference to, to the theme of the painting. I wanted a domestic scenes to happen with um, Adam brushing his teeth and Eve fixing her hair. So you really enter the intimacy of Adam and Eve in a kind of a novel way. But at the same time, which is also kind of a, a nod to Adam and Eve finding out that they were naked and the fall of Eden. So it's kind of a post-fall um, of Eden after they have eaten the forbidden fruit. For the video, Bitter Apples, everything is centered around that female figure. And she's a bit the thread between the different scenes. And she is every time bringing this element of a bit chaos or like primal nature with these props that she's handling, whether 
It's a bag that's a sort of a crocodile lizard dragon bag that's kind of coming to life at the train station. And she's a sort of Alice in Wonderland. She's bringing the viewer into a rabbit hole and bring the viewer into a journey, into her own head, into her own subjectivity. It was the first time I worked in the video form, but in a way it came very naturally because I believe I already kind of used some of that language, some of the cinematic language into the paintings. When I think of a show, I usually, I'm already into a landscape, internal landscape. And then I select different scenes from that landscape, which are the different paintings. And I treat each, each scenes a bit as a piece of a puzzle that I am inviting the viewer to you know, put together. 